been in school and you just sat down at your desk and you realize you're hungry. Your stomach starts to growl and everybody in class is staring at you. And yet it is so embarrassing because it will not stop no matter how many times you push on your stomach. So then you decide to go through your binder and look for maybe like a little piece of gum that you forgot you had. Something that could stunt your hunger pain. But all you can find are pencils and pens and school supplies. So then you decide, hmm, maybe I'll just take a little nap. Maybe it'll stop the hunger pains. And this happens. Wake up! Now you're awake and you realize that you have not eaten. Wait, are you really going to try that? Unfortunately, things from your dreams can't be brought into reality. But what you can do is you can dream and you can make anything possible. I'm going to make your requests, your wishes, and your dreams come true. Let's get to it. It's Breland here. I am going to be showing you how to make edible pencils and edible erasers. A lot of you were asking me if I could make edible pencils that you could literally bring into class and like trick people into thinking that you're eating actual pencils and I thought that would be such a funny concept. So I realized they're not like perfectly realistic but they're as realistic as I could make them. So remember to subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video to become an official glitter critter so you'll never miss another video like this one and also this is a collaboration with some of my really sweet friends Chrissy from Glamour Life Box, Jacob Cruikshank, Jesse Page, and Timmy Tomato. Make sure you go and you check out their videos. I'll be sure to post links at the top of the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to their channels. What do you think I should make edible next? Your idea could inspire my next edible creation and your comments could be featured in my next video. So make sure you let me know in the comments. I'm writing down so many of your ideas right now. So now, let's get started. of eating school supplies is not very relatable, but I think we can all relate to eating sweet treats like these. So starting off, I'm making the pencil and eraser molds out of amazing mold putty. I love this stuff. I've never actually used it. So I mixed equal parts of yellow and white together and quickly had David press the pencils and erasers down into the molds. I suggest keeping your molds as thin as possible so that way they are easier to bend and work with. I'm using non-toxic colored art pencils for this since we are working with food. Please do not use real lead pencils for your mold because lead is poisonous and it can make you very sick. I let this set for 20 minutes until the mold was firmed up and now I can take the pencils and erasers out of it. I carefully slice them open using an X-Acto knife and I remove the pencil and the eraser carefully. Now that the molds are finished, it's time to use them. The fun part! I'm taking some white chocolate chips and melting them in a microwave safe bowl on 30 second increments in the microwave obviously until it's completely melted and ooey gooey and this stuff smelled so amazing. Because I wanted the chocolate to be easier to insert into the molds I decided to add water to it and this will turn it into more of a dough texture. This actually happened to me many times on accident when I added food coloring so that's how I learned how to do this and now I can just stuff it into the molds. I made sure to shove as much chocolate as I possibly could into all the little cracks and crevices just to make sure that it's going to be a sturdy mold and I did the same with the eraser and I let it Netflix and chillax in the freezer for about an hour or two. I took the molds out of the freezer and carefully removed the eraser first. It may not come out perfectly, but that's why my handy dandy X-Acto knife comes in handy, because it's handy dandy, and I just shaved it to perfection. For the pencil, I was extremely careful because it is so easy to break this, and luckily I was able to remove it safely and I shaved off all of the excess chocolate that was stuck to it.
Lately, I've been obsessed with these spray food colors, and one of you in the comments even told me that someone needed to take these away from me, which you are probably right, because I have a problem. So I'm using a paper towel as a barrier, and I sprayed it with the yellow and the orange food spray, and then I just smoothed the color into the chocolate with my finger, and I find that using the warmth of your fingers with this is a really great way to smooth it out into the perfect shape. For the silver part of the pencil, I'm using some of this mica-based silver food coloring mixed with a tiny bit of white frosting and the frosting really helped the food coloring to stick to the chocolate because it wasn't wanting to stick at first. I also sprayed it with a bit of silver food spray to finish it up. For the eraser, I cut the tip evenly with a heated knife just to make things easier. Please be careful with this part. And then I sprayed the rest of it with some pink food spray, of course. Next, I sprayed the rest of the pencil with yellow food spray to prepare it for sharpening. So to give it that realistic sharpened look, I shaved off the area between the base and the lead tip, and it came out perfect. Last, I applied a bit of black icing and silver food coloring to the tip to look like real pencil lead. This then I sprayed the pencil cap eraser with pink food coloring and I applied a little icing to this just to give it a more opaque look. Let me know in the comments, what do you think I should make edible next? Your idea could inspire my next edible creation and you could be featured. Also remember to subscribe to become an official glitter critter and remember to go watch my friends videos which are linked in the description below. I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. I love you, bye! Oh, oh, oh.